Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you like makeup, skincare, fragrance, real people, and real talk, definitely subscribe to my channel. So y'all, today we're gonna do a get ready with me. I asked y'all on my community tab and on Instagram to give me some fill in the brain questions so that we can, you know, you know, have a little conversation, a little girl chat or whatever, girl guy chat. Everybody's welcome to the conversation, of course. And yeah, y'all know I like to talk, okay? I can get a little chatty, so go on and get you some wine some a hot toddy whatever you need to do some coffee some snacks pull your covers up and let's get into it okay y'all did ask me some good questions but y'all didn't get as spicy as i thought y'all was gonna get maybe because some of y'all don't really know me like that but this might help you to get to know me a little bit because if y'all ever watched my makeup and mess videos y'all we used to have fun okay i'll leave that down in the description box um y'all can watch those after y'all watch this video so some of the makeup that i'm using was in my favorites video which i'll link that below too and i wanted y'all to kind of see them in action see how they work and all of that but yeah we're gonna get into this space we got our sponges ready we got our mirror sitting right here hopefully that doesn't bother y'all being in the frame a little bit we got our clean makeup brushes okay like girl if you're not using clean makeup brushes like what are you doing y'all love to talk about oh i don't do this to my skin and i don't do that to my skin because i don't want to bring bacteria to my face but then y'all using dirty makeup brushes make it make sense everything is going to be linked down in the description box i'm gonna try not to keep y'all long but girl once i get into the conversation i'll be talking okay and then i'll be talking with my hands and all of that and can't do my damn makeup but I'm, I'm, try, I'm gonna try to do it, okay? So the first question is, your favorite guilty pleasure show and meal? Okay, so just so I understand this question properly because I don't really be feeling guilty about a lot of shit that I do. So yeah, I'm like, ugh. But from what I understand, a guilty pleasure is something that you enjoy doing but you probably shouldn't be doing and you probably feel guilty after you do it. So yeah, so favorite guilty pleasure show I'm thinking would be something like, see I be talking my hands, can't even do my damn makeup. I think favorite guilty pleasure show would be something like, probably like P-Valley, okay? Not that I don't feel like I should be watching P-Valley because I don't miss an episode of P-Valley, but I don't know, honey. Like I don't like gay porn or nothing, but I feel like Lil Murda, Lil Murda, look you just giving it to the men's like you should not be giving it to the men's like that i should not be watching this but i be watching girl i'm like oh little murder you you need to back up a little bit because you see his face he he cannot take it okay he cannot take it okay y'all i heard that the big thick the thick ones can't take it like the little ones <laughs> That's just what i heard girl i don't know i don't know now my favorite guilty pleasure meal is i don't have a favorite guilty pleasure meal because i eat whatever i want I never feel guilty about nothing that I eat. But I think that's because I'm a small person. So it's harder for me to gain weight than it is to lose weight. Like I, I can lose weight so fast. Like and it, it's been something that I've always dealt with. Like I'm not proud of that. Like I've always wanted to gain more weight. You know what I'm saying? But it's so hard for me to gain weight. Like y'all would be surprised. I know I'm the minority of the people with that. Cause there's more people that have struggled with losing weight. But I've always been a person that I struggle with gaining weight. So, and then I'm a, uh, when I'm stressed, I don't eat. So then the weight just drops like boom, you know what I'm saying? Versus somebody who is a stress eater and you know, they, they eat when they're stressed. I will say that when I do gain weight though, now that I'm older, it kind of goes to that mommy pooch and that's what I don't like. Uh, but girl, yeah, I don't have no guilty pleasure meal because I don't be guilty about eating nothing, okay? I eat anything that I want and be happy about it, okay? Y'all gonna see with the, this whole makeup look that it's gonna look like chaos at first, but at the end it's gonna look right, okay? It's, I, I ain't never steal y'all wrong with, with the makeup looks, okay? That was a good question though. Like y'all let me know what's y'all guilty pleasure show because... I want to watch it. <laughs> Next question is the most you've ever spent on a perfume bottle. Um, the most I've ever spent on a perfume bottle was my bonds. Um, not all of them. I didn't pay full price for all of them, but a couple of them I did pay full price for. Like Tribeca, I paid full price for that. And Greenwich Village, I paid full price for that. And those were 440 And as I'm answering these questions, y'all answer them too. Tell me what your most expensive bottle was because I want to know. So the next question is the most memorable moment this year. The most memorable moment of this year was the passing of my father. So it's not like a great memory, clearly. Um, and it's definitely something I'm still struggling with. 
um i feel like i didn't really get to grieve the way i wanted to or not wanted to but needed to um so it's like i grieve a little bit every day or a little bit every so often you know what i'm saying when i start thinking about him or thinking about things that we talked about laughed about thinking about times etc like and then you know i kind of get down because i just wasn't able to just crawl up in a hole and cry you know what i'm saying and just deal with it and i think it's something that you never oh i don't look too bad today it's something that you just don't just get over with especially if that's your person so if you're new here i was raised by my dad he was a single parent um my mom wasn't in my life and so my dad was my person you know what i'm saying that was my everything and he taught me so much and he was such a good dad and i mean you know back in the 80s you know a dad just taking a, his two kids his two small kids i was five five or maybe four my brother was like six months old yeah and he you know raised his children and like he was just my everything so to lose him that was the most memorable moment of this year and it's definitely something that i still struggle and deal with okay so the next question is the most comfortable yet feeling myself ensemble is well y'all know it's winter time or winter winter is coming um and i mean a nice a feeling myself ensemble and it's still you know comfortable is you know i love me some leather okay give me a cute pair of leather pants honey some thigh high boots a nice sheer top especially if it's like a sheer turtleneck top i had this sheer turtleneck top on but it was like sheer and it was like ruched in the middle and ruched on the sleeves it was so cute i had my cute little black bra on with some leather pants honey 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 thought oh, i was so cute and a fur coat i haven't had my furs on yet it ain't it ain't got that coat yet but honey that that ensemble though with the fur coat <laughs> like girl i do not like the cold weather at all but i needed to get just cold enough for me to wear my furs okay for me to wear my furs okay other than that the cold can go to hell your first son diego is how old diego is two he is about to be three years old in january his birthday is january 24 he is an Aquarius, <laughs> okay? Like, mm. but Diego, that is my baby. I wish he was like small so I can like hug and hold on him the way I want to, even though I do be hugging and hold on him. But girl, that 95 pound bugger right there, I'm obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with Diego. The most decorative household item that you own. Um, the most decorative household item that I own? let's talk about these things i got on my nightstand so they're they're like these they're like i don't know what they are but they have like this silver base and then they're round and white and then they have this like silver they like they big they stand on my nightstands like a lamp but they ain't lamps they li literally just there for decoration they just have no point to be in there like i literally could have put lamps there and then so i guess those are something decorative that's unnecessary but i love it <laughs> next question is the fountain of youth is located where <laughs> thank you y'all i be i dead ass be appreciating y'all when y'all be saying i look good for my age because getting old as a bitch i ain't gonna tell y'all no lie you know what i'm saying now you know if you're not new here you know i love skincare and stuff like that especially korean skincare which i also think is something that has been helping with you know me keeping my skin looking a little younger but yeah if you um you know just follow like my skincare routines and stuff like that drink your water exercise work out don't smoke don't drink a lot of alcohol I mean, I be having my drinks, but I don't drink like on a daily basis or nothing like that. Like I'm really like a weekend drinker or a social drinker, like if I'm out and about doing them. So yeah, just, I don't know, get your rest, try to stay stress free. You know what I'm saying? And just take care of your skin, exfoliate. <laughs> Got to exfoliate, yeah. Um, get into retinol, okay, stuff like that, okay. Um, yeah, but that's, that's the vibe. If you could change one thing that you did in the past, what would it be? Woo, child. Yeah. Just one? Honey. Because we can be here all day talking about that. 
I will say this though, even though I look back on my life and there's so many things that I wish I would have done different, I still believe that everything happens for a reason. So if I had to answer that question, I would say I would have never came back to Ohio. Like I would have stayed in New York, I wouldn't have came back to Ohio. When my dad left my mom, uh, he brought us from the Bronx to Ohio. So that's, that's the story behind that. So after I graduated high school, I went to hair school and I was in hair school for a minute. I didn't finish that. And then it was a whole nother story behind that, but I ended up moving to New York. We got a whole bunch of stories to talk about, y'all. So I ended up moving to New York and when I moved to New York, I ended up hooking up with somebody that I was cool with when I used to go up there in the summertime and we was cool and all of that. And we had a baby. <laughs> Well, my mom was going through whatever she was going through with, and I didn't know about it. And she ended up getting kicked out of her apartment. And I had a newborn baby in my hands. And I was like, where am I about to go? What am I about to do? So I knew my safe place was always my dad. You know what I'm saying? My dad was always my safe place. Always gonna be my safe place. So this is my Dior powder, no powder. You know, I love it. So yeah. So I came back to my dad and got my life together. I wish I would have stayed in New York sometimes, but everything happened for a reason because if I wouldn't have came back here, I wouldn't have met my man and had my son and all of that. So I definitely don't regret any of that. You know what I'm saying? I love my family. So, but just being in Ohio, I just don't like it. <laughs> Next question is, are you ready for traveling or is COVID holding you back? No, COVID ain't holding me back, child. As long as I can travel somewhere and don't have to be vaccinated, I'm down. <laughs> I'm down to go. I'm definitely ready to travel because I didn't travel all 2022. Of course, 2020 and 2021, I didn't do anything. So I'm ready. So 2023, I'm going outside. Next question, when your birthday is in a couple days, you're thinking to yourself, bitch, you is getting old. Like, damn. Like, that's what I be thinking, for real. Like, oh my gosh, this is getting old is for the bird. But don't get me wrong, I'd rather get old than die young, that's for sure. But, oh goodness, I'm like, dang, my birthday is in February. And I'm like, goodness, I'm about to be 43 years old. 43? Like, woo, woo. So yeah, that's what I be thinking. But I also, um, around my birthday, I'm very thankful for being alive. I'm thankful for the life that I have, the people that are in my life, my family, friends, um, you know, and I, I do get very thankful around my birthday as well because we don't have to be here. You know, God could have pulled our card at any moment. You know what I'm saying? It's happening every day to so many people, so many young people, younger than me. So I'm thankful as well. Even though I be complaining about getting old, child. Okay, let's get into some blush. I gotta move quick, too. Okay, we're gonna use this Juvia's Place palette. And I wanted something really orangey. And look at that orange. That orange is bomb. This is the Juvia's Sahara Blush Palette 1. That orange, though. Damn. Look, I did one tap. Like, one tap. Like, these Juvia Place brush blushes, y'all. Get into it. I'm gonna tap that off, because sister. Anywho, what was we talking about? Oh, next question. Fragrance isn't my only pleasure. I also like blank, hobby, or hidden talent. So I don't really have any hobbies, I don't think. Um, I think YouTube is a hobby. Diego, don't be disrespectful. Um, But I also like skincare. I like makeup. If y'all saw my skincare and my makeup collection, y'all be like, okay, girl. You got a problem, okay? It's looking like Sephora up in here. I just love those things and I love buying them because it's just what I like to do. Um, I like to cook. I love to cook, y'all. I love to cook. I can't say like I'm like a caterer or nothing like that, but I, I think what I love so much about cooking is I love to cook, but it's the enjoyment of people enjoying your food. And it's just something about cooking that just makes me happy because it's like you put ingredients together to come up with this masterpiece not masterpiece but you come up with this meal that people enjoy it's just like doing makeup you put all these makeup things together to make a beautiful makeup face you know what i'm saying so i just love that like i love it i love cooking if i had to choose two perfumes they would be 
blank and blank. Mm, 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 mm. Now, everybody that has a perfume collection knows this is one of the hardest questions in the world. I'm gonna try to answer to the best of my ability. So, I think I would pick a really girly, girly one and a more unisex sexy one. I'm gonna go with Delina Exclusive. I'm gonna only go with Delina Exclusive because for one, I, I love that fragrance. Um, I feel like Delina Exclusive, she like hits all the marks. She's long lasting, she projects, the seed your eyes is bomb, like, and, and she's pretty. She's just pretty and girly and feminine and soft and she can go with any occasion. Like, she really can. If I wanna wear her on a date, I can. If I wanna wear her to work, I can. If I wanna wear her to any type of event, I can. If I wanna wear her just every day, I can. Like, she just suits the mood, so I really like her for that reason. Um, if I had to pick a unisex, sexy, um, fragrance black phantom is my girl i'm sorry y'all i love me some black phantom don't get me wrong i got a lot of sexy fragrances but it's just something about black phantom it's dark it's sexy it's unisex it's so it gives you that don't with me type of vibe it gives me a sexy vibe it gives me an edible vibe because it's got that chocolate and that coffee so that that's that edible come hither type of vibe um and i just love the way it smells on my skin and yeah, Black Phantom is that girl, okay? My favorite way to pamper myself on a bad day is, um, if you're not new here, you know I love taking bubble baths. Um, I, I have a pamper video. Um, if, if I can find it, I'll link it. I'm sure I can find it. Um, but yeah, like I'll do the whole extensive bubble bath with the fruit and the wine and all of that. You know, of course, my body washes and scrubs and all of that. And, you know, watch some YouTube or watch a Netflix video with some nice piping hot bath water with the bubbles and was, like it just brings me so much relaxation and joy i could just really just wind down then i would do an extensive skincare routine okay i'm talking steamer mask sheet mask clay mask all of that like all the fixings okay like everything i am going to put on something comfy and cozy i am going to curl up either on the couch or on my bed or somewhere and i'm just gonna watch like my favorite types of movies like not even favorite types of movies just whatever i just feel like watching because i don't even have a favorite movie but just movies that i know i like you know what i'm saying like i would watch those and i would just relax and just pour it into me i would eat my guilty pleasure food okay all of that like yeah okay let's get into this setting spray and the next question i'm gonna use this milk hydro grip setting spray so the next question is my favorite natural hairstyle is my favorite natural hairstyle was definitely wash and goes. Like wash and goes, wash and goes was my joint. Like I love me a good wash and go. I love them because they were defined. Mm, mm, mm. And just I don't know. I just love me a wash and go. Like I like wash and goes way more than twist styles and any of that. But that was my favorite thing. But once I started having issues with my hair, where my hair was like shedding real bad, then my wash and goes didn't look the same. You know, they were stringy on the ends and I could have kept cutting it up to where it was getting thicker, but I would have been cutting forever and it was like, girl, just start over. So that's what I'm doing now. Just starting over, cut all my hair off and eventually I'll be back to a natural curly girl eventually when I'm ready to, you know, pull my hair out again. So the next question was, what's um, this year's most overhyped fragrance that is not worth it is? girl for me for me and this is just me in my opinion overhyped is a matter of opinion some people love this fragrance for me it was a hell to the gnaw and that was that burberry elixir i was like no ma'am but i don't even like none i don't like none of the burberry hers though so i was like i want some burberry hair in my collection too because everybody was loving the original burberry hair um during the summer so i'm like okay this this the one for me this about to be the one for me that's elixir is about to be the one for me because the original burberry i was like um burberry hair i was like no ma'am it smells like plastic baby doll head okay i can't with strawberry plastic baby doll head and if you old as me then you remember the doll strawberry shortcake and what she smelled like and that's what burberry hair smelled like to me but when i was watching the reviews for burberry hair elixir everybody was like uh uh girl this is the one this one is different they was even saying like i didn't like rubbery hair but this one is creamier and it's so much better and it's so much softer and da, da, da. so i went girl blind bought that thing went to altar and picked it up said yes ma'am brought that thing home and was like what 
What is this? What in the hell is this? This is the same damn thing. This is just, they, they was right. They was right though. It was a creamier version of Burberry Hair. It definitely was. But was it better? Hell no. Hell no, it wasn't better. It was the same damn thing. Not the worst thing I ever smelled in my life, no. Let's be clear, I'm not saying it's the worst thing I ever smelled in my life. It's definitely not. But it was damn sure wasn't nothing I wanted to add to my collection. I'll just say that. I'm just putting my moles back on where they go. Y'all been getting more moles. Now that I'm getting older, I'm getting more of them. I got like some over here I could tap, 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 but I ain't gonna do that. What are your go-to uplifting fragrances when you are feeling overwhelmed and down? Um, so when I'm feeling overwhelmed and down, I usually like something very fruity, uplifting, youthful feeling. Um, so something like um, uh, Eating Juicy Apple 01, it reminds me of a Victoria's Secret um, like body spray or something. So it takes me back to my younger days. And I just be loving that so much. Let me put this glue on these lashes while I'm running my mouth. So I love to wear something like that because it just takes me back to my younger days. And I just feel so youthful when I wear something like that. Um, either that or something very cozy. Very cozy, very in the house, very chill, very, you know what I mean? Very cozy and comforting. Um, so something like... Um, Zadegan Voltaire, this is her. It's very comforting and cozy. Something like coffee break, something clean and fresh like lazy Sunday morning. Something that I can just chill in. You know what I mean? Just chill and relax. Okay, y'all, so I had to pop my lashes on right quick because trying to do them lashes, honey, is just as bad as trying to do them brows and talk. Okay, so I did get some more questions on Instagram. They weren't uh, filling the brain questions, but they are questions. So I'm going to answer them because I appreciate your support, girl. So let's get into this eyeliner. And the first question is, do you like doing skincare or fragrance content more? Which one do you like better? I actually like both, but it's something about it. It's something about that skincare that can really change somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? Like if I request a, um, or if, if I recommend a fragrance and somebody gets it and they like, girl, I love this fragrance. Like it's so nice and I love it. Like, thank you for recommending it. And I do be, I'll be so happy that you know, you like some a fragrance that I recommend it. Like, I, I'm definitely happy about that. But when I was doing skincare, like, a lot more regularly on my channel, I would get people DMing me. Not no whole boatload of people. But there were a few people that DMed me and was like, thank you so much. Like, watching your skincare routines and getting the products that you suggested, like, literally changed the game for me. And they would send me before and after pictures. And I would be so happy with the the way their skin has transformed and that's like life changing because somebody that goes from bad skin or what is considered to be bad skin you know i'm talking about like hella acne hella hyperpigmentation just you know something that they've struggled with for so long and to see them have clear skin um you know see that hyperpigmentation lighten up just see how much more confident they are as a person is just it just really like warms up my whole soul like it i love that i love that feeling of helping somebody with something that is so life-changing like that's really life-changing because you know what i'm saying like it's a whole lot of things that can spiral from somebody's skin just getting better you know what i'm saying like now she got more confidence now she can leave that sorry ass nigga she was with you know what i'm saying because now she got the confidence you know what i'm saying she going out she feeling good about herself and all of that you know what i'm saying like it could just be so many scenarios behind building confidence is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? And being confident within yourself that just brings my heart so much happiness. So I'm going to go with skincare. How many fragrances do you have in your collection? <laughs> I don't even got a lot, girl. I mean, I got a hundred, over a hundred, but I feel like my collection ain't where I want it to be. I, I think this, you know what's funny? I said that I was going to stop at 100. And my friend told me, she was like, yeah, you're you going to stop at 100 till you get to 100. And then you're going to be like, I'm going to stop at 200. And I, no, I definitely don't think I'm going to go as far as... I, I, if I do get to 200, I'm through. I'm done. I'm done. Like, I am done. I got over 100, but I only been collecting fragrances for a year now. 
So it's like, I did a lot in a year and now it's time for me to pull back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and I'm gonna do a fragrance video. I'm gonna do a collection video this year. I wasn't gonna do it cause I feel like it was my collection wasn't where I wanted to be, but it's like, girl, you've only been collecting fragrances for a year. And like, let's go ahead and do this video. So next year at the end of 2023, y'all will be able to see like how much my fragrance collection has grown. So you guys, I had to go ahead and get dressed because <laughs> this video already long as ever and I just want to hurry up and get through the rest of these questions. So let's get into these last few questions and then we'll get into the scent of the night. So the next question is body butter or scented lotion? If I had to choose though, if I had to choose, I'm gonna go with body butter because my skin is dry and I just love me a good body butter for real. Designer or niche? Um, I like both. I really do like both. I like niche. I like designer. I'm getting into more indie houses. If I had to choose though, I, I'm gonna go with niche. I'm gonna go with niche because I don't know, like the scent profiles are just more, more unique, more different. They, some of them last longer, have better oil concentrations and stuff like that. So now that I've been into the whole designer niche realm, I'm gonna go with niche. Floral or gourmand? I'm gonna go with gourmand. I love gourmands, but I love florals too, so that's a hard question. But I love a good gourmand, like love it. I like gourmands that aren't literal gourmands. They just have like gourmand characteristics or would be, you know, considered like a gourmand. But I also like a edible gourmand. Like I literally smell like a dessert. Like you can literally just take a bite out of me, okay? I like them time too, so I'm gonna go with gourmand. What's been the highlight of your year? I really didn't have any highlights this year. Like this was a terrible year terrible like i'm ready for it to go like i said this was a terrible year for me this was bad i didn't get to travel like i didn't get a lot of stuff done that i wanted to get done you know what i'm saying and yeah a lot of things are taking longer than i expected them to um but i know that it's necessary for those to get done before other things get done so you know sometimes things take time and they don't happen when you want them to but um, yeah, 2022 can get the hell on, for real. Like, bye. Okay, y'all, so those were all the questions. Let's get into the scent of the night. Um, it's only 4.45, but I'm gonna go ahead and record a couple of videos, and then we are going to dinner. So I wanna go ahead and do that. And the scent of the night is um, going to be Deluxe. Deluxe layered with coffee break. So this is my scent of the night. We're not doing anything super fancy or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so this is a nice rose scent. It has coffee in it, but the coffee is not super prominent. Like, you know what I mean? So I wanted more coffee and that's why I pulled out Coffee Break. Coffee Break is a nice creamy coffee fragrance that has lavender in it. Um, it's, it's like a creamy coffee latte with lavender milk. Okay, so that's what um, it really smells like and paired these two together. So you still got that nice rose floral scent with the lavender and the coffee and cream from this scent and I feel like it smells really, really good together. Like I smell amazing. <laughs> like my combos, my combos be on point boy i'm telling you so thank you so much for watching this video i definitely want to do another video like this y'all next time y'all can get a little spicy okay we can, we can ask some spicy questions next time don't be scared because i'm gonna answer it okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like comment share and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye